Welcome back to the Conspiracy Outpost. Tonight, we're talking about the hairy beast known as Bigfoot. So grab a beer and tune in as we dive deep into this famous cryptid. I'm your host, Mike. I'm Jumanji Joe. I'm Matt. And I'm Facebook. So Bigfoot, like a lot of people know him as like the big ass, um, what was it, fucking, uh, you guys see the Jungle Book, right? Big ass uh, orangutan guy, movie, he's one of those guys. <laughs> The mega now, yeah, that's that's lots it. So a lot of people know about Bigfoot, but not a lot of people know about his shoe size. Like, what kind of shoes did he wear? Um, a big ass Jordan. That's what a motherfucker wear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was he was a big man. And you guys think you I, know? Uh, I'll tell you later. Never mind. Back. Well, I was gonna say here's I. You know, I just want to say a fact real quick about Bigfoot. So, I mean, obviously, you know, he had big feet. Um, there's a fact number one. Fact number two is, um, you know, thinking Bigfoot, uh, relatively, you know, they say about big feet and big hands, right? You know, actually, yeah. there is so actually... Bigfoot this, had uh, a big brain. This, <laughs> there was actually this study, Matthew, that they said uh, people who have bigger noses have bigger dicks. Wow, Jesus. Oh, Russell's back in. <laughs> no wonder why the, no wonder the Germans wanted to get him. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hear the history, Casey. Casey, okay, so what's the history behind Bigfoot? So the the legend of Bigfoot it goes back to you know before recorded history, really. You know, there's there's stories. I heard it went about, to the 16th century. The the well, the proven like the um, Native Americans had a uh, stories about a hairy person beast. That would live in the forest like a family of them. Oh yeah, and that was I was that predated uh, white men coming over. Yeah, that was before we came into the uh, North America, and that was that was probably what was that like? Uh, when the hell did we come over here? Sixteenth century. So it was before that, obviously, because you know the Native Americans had the stories, and then they told us about the stories, and settlers uh, reported seeing footprints. Uh, they've had sporadic encounters. Um, you know, just throughout the throughout the entire time of that, and then you know, you know what the Native Americans called it? What? Sasket or some shit like that? Oh I yeah, I, yeah. Before. I thought that, that was like King Louis. Louis. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we should. That's what we should call our own. Um, uh, what are those? God damn it! What is that noise? Sorry about that. This that was a motorcycle driving uh, in the background. Um, that we should make our own. Um, that sounded pretty you good. You know? <laughs> I thought that was yeah. It's like right outside. Um, what do I'm you call those? Like uh, those singing uh, groups, the like multiple people, like a choir. Uh, no like um, quartet. Quartet. Yeah, that's that's gonna be. Our, we're gonna start a quartet group. We're gonna call ourselves the Saskets. <laughs> a fucking barbershop quartet. And- yeah, a barbershop. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be the Sas- Quad. And we'll just make Sasquatch noises the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> now, and we'll call somebody will the be Sas- doing, Squad. Somebody will be doing the footprints, like boom, doom. Or just like noises in the woods. And then someone oh, else will be doing the, the, head, the head movement going swish, swish. <laughs> and then... I don't know. Somebody can throw in a Chewbacca noise because I assume that's what that's like. That's pretty good. Oh, that's terrible. (laughs) Sounds like Joseph's ready to (laughs) do that. Okay, but so back to what Casey was saying. Almost all cultures have depicted some kind of myth revolving around giant hairy things. Being well, at least, whatever. well, we were just talking Including about ours when we our, talk about our uncle in North America. But yeah, yeah Mike, you are right. There are uh, cultures in uh, like regions in Asia and yeah, uh, Australia. Where they have the Yeti and shit like that. Yeah, the Yeti. And then in Australia, they have the Yowie. Um, they have yeah. a, they have what? a, a what? <laughs> it's called a Yowie. A what? It's a Yowie. It's called a what? A Yowie. Is that why that candy Did you Google that? Yowie? I always laugh. <laughs> I know that from South Park. <laughs> Dude, I Yowies, yeah, Yowies are 
No, I yeah, listen, yeah, another, yeah. another podcast that I listen to. Uh, they they have an Australian guy that comes on every now and then, and uh, he he t- he talks about the Yowie too. So it's not you know it's not just from South Park. You know, it's, uh, well, so, no, so you Google that. Park didn't, hey, you Google Park, didn't you? Or, South Park didn't start Yowie. Yowie is a yeah. It's oh man, yeah, I know, but they talked about men. it. That's all. Yeah, they make uh, jokes about or whatever because uh, like what's Craig. called well, yeah, Tweak and Craig. That's what it was. Um, Wait, what? No, me and Tang, me and Tang used to make jokes about Yowie stuff. Casey, Yowie's is like gay hentai. It's oh, gay hentai. It? Yeah, it's yeah, it guy is. on guy. Yeah, but uh, the Yowie okay. you're talking about, Casey, is like I, I think spelled that. that. <laughs> Yowie you're talking about is spelled differently. There's even candy named Yowie. It's They're basically way, like I don't know how it's, it, it's salty yeah. things you put in your mouth. <laughs> I think that flammable. Yowie you're talking about has like a W in it. It's not spelled. Yeah, it's a they're talking about is, W-I-E. Yeah, this but, Yowie spelled Y-A-O-I or something uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Japanese can, guy on guy thing. And I can see the correlation with a, a big hairy gay man. <laughs> uh, I can see the correlation uh, there. It's a bear. That'd be a bear. That'd be a bear and not Bigfoot. I was watching yeah. a, I was watching a Modern Family. I don't know if you guys have seen that show. Yeah, I've uh, watched it. There's a... Uh, you know the the old guy, and then you know like the big gay guy. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't remember the yeah. names, but uh, that guy is actually like, gay in real life too. Yeah, the other one's I, not. But I, I figured it's kind of hard to act. You know, I think Family that. Guy. I think but, Family Guy made a joke where they said that the um, the less gay one is gay in real life, <laughs> or but, something uh, like that. But it was funny because uh, dude's friends with they were, they were at like a bowling alley for like uh, they were like a gay bowling league, and they had the oh. The guy's name was Pritchett, Jay Pritchett. He uh, he was filling in, and he's like, "What if these?" He's like, "What if they?" Uh, he's like, I'm, "He's like, I don't act gay." He's like, at the uh, the gay guy was like, "Oh no, not all of us act gay." He's like, "There's a bunch of different uh, categories," and he started listing off all these names, and he's like, "And an otter." He's like, at the Jay was like, "What the fuck's an otter?" <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, "What the hell is an otter?" They don't say fuck on ABC. Yeah, I can't remember what the oh, guy's name is. I know, I know the redhead's name is Mitch, but I can't remember what the other one's name is. Oh man, that show's so funny, man! I laugh. It, so is, it is a pretty good show. It's Modern Mitch and um, ah uh, fuck, what uh, Cameron? Cameron, there we go. Yeah, because he's he's gay and like uh, Cam. I, didn't have, I didn't have to say the gay part, but he's he's the one that was raised on a farm and shit or something yeah. like that. Hmm. Okay, it's but, actually a pretty good show. Anyway, as back, we different back foot. to the Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot's uh, in different countries. Yeah, we got... Oh, oh I was going to yeah. say, how the fuck did we get on to bears? But I remember... <laughs> I was like, how did we get on to the gay subject? Because I was like, oh, yeah, the bears. No, but they have a uh, hell of different names for Bigfoot around the around the United States alone. Yeah. In uh, Florida, they, they call them the skunk ape or the swamp ape. Minnesota yeah. calls them big hairs. Minnesota big calls hairs-y. them what? Big hairs. Oh, one of them big hairs. Hey, one of those big hairs just straight know, through my they property. You know? <laughs> big hairs. Ohio calls him the grass man. Um, oh, Virginia got some funny ones. The wood that wood sounds wood. like the that sounds like my weed dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! No, in uh, Virginia they got the wood booger, the bog <laughs> creek monster, the swamp well, that- stalker. <laughs> Oh, back home, don't back home, me and Matthew used to just call him Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, or cousin it. I don't know how to say this one in Arkansas. It's called the Foki Monster. F O U K E. Is that how you say it? F O U K E. Fauki. 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 The Fauki I, don't, I have no idea. New York. They got the monster Whitehall. Um, what the fuck is he doing in New York? Hey, oh, are wait, we doing, I'm thinking the are city. We, uh, Did you realize, are we going to be doing an episode that, like, on the Jersey Devil? Above the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I just, yeah, I just, are, just realized just, that. I just okay, realized that, that when I said it. I wasn't sure <laughs> if we were. I just thought about that when we were talking about, I don't know why. I just think of yeah. uh, fucking uh, Bigfoot no in like a suit and like a fucking... Like uh, what you call it? Like just dressed Dude, up. Like I want to know why. I want to know. Uh, no, I don't think we have it on this season, but we can do it next season if you want. Yeah, we should. It might be on here. I just might not see it. I don't know. The Jersey uh, Devil. But, so uh, he has all kinds of names, you know, wherever yeah, he frequents. And he's been sighted all through the United States for fucking years, for a long fucking time. So how did uh, how did he get that fucking name? Fucking. 
What, Bigfoot? <laughs> Fuck foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so how, where, did, where did the name Bigfoot come from? Like, where did, where did that, how did that originate? So, was it Humble County? Yeah, that it, yeah I, that's I'm what not, I'm saying. I'm not sure. There. I'm pretty um, sure it was Humble been, County. It could have been. It's crazy that I mean, they didn't call I'm him Grassman. Sure I'm pretty sure it was yeah, the Humble but, newspaper. But in they didn't call him Grassman down there. A man by the name of Jerry Crew, you know, walking through the woods, discovered, discovered a 16-inch fucking... Dick. You know, human footprint, hum, human-like footprint. I heard and they like, bumped that shit. as, a, and then he, as and somebody then, like he brought people out and they took like plaster casts of it. It's like some fucking beast out here, and so they called it Bigfoot, and that's what came up in the papers it was Bigfoot because it's a 16-inch foot. Yeah, but I, I heard they proved those footprints are inaccurate of somebody play, playing a prank on their son. I forget the name mm. of it or whatever. And they said that whether, dad whether it was, was inaccurate or not, that's where the name came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just saying, uh, like, I forget the fucking name, but the son yeah, said that like, his dad was a prankster and he never had any malicious intent. Yeah, that's like... like just, he wasn't trying there, to do there's it There's been a lot of pranks uh, with Bigfoot. I mean, there was a prank that of some motherfucker who dressed up as Sasquatch or Bigfoot or whatever and was, like, fucking with people and got hit by a goddamn car. So, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't know where it was. I just and read it, a little bit about it. I, I was skimming, uh, like, news stories and shit. Some, uh, I bet you those today. Some, uh, socks, socks on that those jerky those jerky commercials. <laughs> uh, fucking, they shot up. <laughs> oh my god! Lee. They're really committed to the bit. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so Bigfoot. If you guys ever, uh, if you guys are unsure if you have seen him or not, let me tell you what he looks like. So you know, then you'd be like, oh, maybe that motherfucker was a Bigfoot. You know, they got broad shoulders. A no walking visible. pussy from the seventies. <laughs> No visible neck. They got long Doesn't arms. Uh, no. I, I just want to say eight to be yeah, anywhere from twenty-four inches long and eight punch, uh, eight inches wide, and uh, they are said to eat berries, leaves, nuts, fruit, salmon. Hold on, what's rabbit, twenty-four all inches all long? Is his feet? Yeah, two okay. feet. Okay. <laughs> he should be the spokesperson for Subway. But uh, <laughs> only if he touches children. That's the only time. You, that's the only way you get that position. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, I, I just wanted to circle back to, uh, yeah, it was uh, the journalist. It was in the Humboldt Times. Humboldt County? Like the, yeah, I, I think so. I, I would, that's somewhat that's close what I was to saying. us. Well, that was like, that's what I was, lot, yeah, that's what I was saying. A lot saying of the was, Bigfoot shit is like where we live. Especially yeah, that, that's, what I was, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Before, yeah, yeah, County, uh, California. before I got cut off. Before I got cut off, I was trying to say that California. it's kind of cool because it's in Northern California. It was up there by Eureka and uh, it, yeah. whatever Bluff it, Lake or Bluff was River. Was it Eureka or Eureka? I think it was. I, I think it was Eureka. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I don't. Let me. It was. It was in the oh. Green Triangle, right? So do you know how we were talking about? That's why uh, they called them grass. Yeah, I think. I think it was in the Green Triangle. Yeah. But uh, so here I got. I got some information. Uh, on the like the Indian Creek, Tool huh? River. Uh, what was that, Joseph? It was the it was that found at Bluff uh, Bluff Creek, which is on the map thing. It showed uh, Eureka next to it. Hmm. I thought you said Blunt Creek. I was like, that's right for that area. No, no I just remember. <laughs> I remember Bluff. Creek. That's why I kept saying Bluff earlier because I kept thinking of Red Bluff, but uh, I mean, obviously like, not near I mean, Red Bluff. But like that's why it's not in my head. Close. So. But, uh, yeah, it's like that's what I was saying was kind of cool because like that that was up here in Northern California. That's not too far from us. And honestly, it'd be really cool if, if like the four of us could go out there and try to go look for him. Go look for big. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, it's, poss it's possible for three of us. I don't know about Casey if he's gonna. Oh, uh, dude, I would make that drive. Do it. If, if you want to take that long I foot down I here, just, just, I would just have to save up money, you know, and then one of you guys yeah, that's to let me crash at your place and provide me with alcohol. And, <laughs> I, I can I provide know. the place, not the alcohol. <laughs> but uh, so hey, scum foot. So the Tool River oh, Indian foot. Reservation. <laughs> this isn't uh, this is in Central California. I don't know where. I don't know how they're defining Central California. Honestly. Central California is generally like around the Napa Valley, kind of. Okay, it, it's well, it's below San Francisco, but above LA. Like San Francisco and up is considered northern Northern California. Well, yeah, no, no, I know, I got, I got, uh, gross. No, it's not. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, 
so that's uh, they have uh, petroglyphs that were created by the Yokes, 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 I don't know, Y O K U T S, however you say that, at Painted Rock and has depictions of a group of Bigfoot, uh, like a Bigfoot creature called uh, the Family. And uh, they're glyphs oh, of hairy one. men, and they are estimated to be around 500 to 1,000 years old. Yeah. Dude, can we can we just talk about the funny fact in that footage, though, that he's just, like, he's walking and then casually turns around? Like, the fuck is that? They're yeah, that one's, that one's been debunked. It was a guy that actually fucking walks like that. <laughs> Which is, like, in the town that they found it out, like, people in the town that saw the video goes, that guy kind of walks like that fucking dude. I forgot his name. Um, That's all mother. But, like, I remember, watch, I remember watching this one on fucking Discovery when I was, like, younger. Um, Who was the guy The guy that got the footage? His name was Robert Pattinson. And I was thinking, hey, he's dope as Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe but, yeah, you know. he, got, he got his fucking friend to fucking do it because yeah, he, he walks, walks like, like an, an idiot. idiot. Was that the um, friend that's still alive? Because dude died in 72. I don't know, okay. but like there that video of, that of the turn that they show, and like anytime you watch anything about a conspiracy theory, they well, yeah, no, that show was that too, video. Yeah, that was like in the intro of the of a, show. Yeah, that was too clean of a turn. Like you could tell they yeah. were looking to see if they're still being filmed. But that like, like it looked like they were gate. seeing if they were still being filmed to be like, should I stop now? Did we stop yeah. like rolling? Because he looks directly at the camera and then turns yeah. back around real fast. But that, and it's like, that like yeah. super wide gate with the swinging arms that he does, that's how that fucking guy walked, and that's why he's in the suit. It's because he walked weird. Yeah, the, there's because in the – I don't know. I don't see anybody walking that casually that lives in a fucking uh, like forest area like that. Why don't they shoot this motherfucker? Yeah. Well, that's what they said. <laughs> supposedly – so supposedly dude oh, it was, was like he found him. Yeah, that's yeah, supposedly dude was like, oh – uh, you got my back, and it's funny in this thing because the documentary the guy's like he asked me if I uh, if I he told me to cover him, which means to hold the gun, whatever. It's like no, he meant the kiss on his neck while he was trying to fucking film this. It's like of course <laughs> that's what it means when you cover someone. <laughs> cover me. <laughs> See, but the the two was, words that they cut out of that were in semen. And <laughs> see, <laughs> he's like, it's man, no like, but, stop, but uh, it was funny because uh, after he said that, it was like, the, but we didn't want to shoot it. We just wanted to whatever. Like we were trying to film it. He had to. He tripped on his knees and he whatever, and then he steadied himself on a log to get the footage. Yeah. And then it's like, no, bro. Like y'all planned this out there, and it, it said that this guy didn't want to cut. He was there with him when it happened, and they always try to get him like. They tried to get him to like talk about it for years, and he wouldn't. Yeah, well, yeah, like, he's embarrassed like, because really I did. can't get my story. I can't get my story straight. Well, well he's embarrassed finally, because they finally got a hold of the guy who was in the fucking suit, and he's like, "Oh yeah, that's me." <laughs> I know hella people came forward and said I was in that suit, and I was it's like, all, "It looks, it really, really does." Well, that's look the thing like is a- like, <laughs> people in that town they knew when they saw the video, they were like, "That that." Walks just like this guy. Oh, that's fucking Craig right there. God damn yeah. it, yeah. dude! Isn't that isn't that Craig Homelson? Yeah, that is Homelson <laughs> right there. Yep, he's it, been walking pro- like that since high school. <laughs> Nobody ever picked him for a basketball team because his posture was shitty. It's pronounced Henderson, and he's John Lithgow's hairy kid. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you get that, no, I know. <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I the, the only thing that, that matters... Movie, I think probably like six months ago. It's a good movie. The only Never. real Bigfoot footage there is is for those jerky commercials. And that's <laughs> it. Okay? Well, what about what about Joseph in the 16th century? The Spanish explorers and uh, Mexican settlers, they uh, they told tales of Spanish dark rapists watchers. Spanish rapists liars. Yeah, they, they, told, <laughs> they, told, they told tales of dark watchers, so probably Jon Snow out there, you know? Yeah, they and, were uh, probably yeah, referring yeah. to Native Americans. They were like, and when, or Native Americans, natives, I'm sorry, natives. They <laughs> stalk their camps at night and steal their livestock. Well, why do why do uh, racists, uh, why do liber- uh, liberal people who claim they're not racist lock their doors while they're in uh, urban areas? It's the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I was, was kind of not, not about that. Not about urban areas. This has nothing to do with that. It was more about Bigfoot and uh, Shaq. I know. I, I'm just joking around. I'm like, 
a fucking. I'm telling you right now. A Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm like telling you right now. Thing. I don't doubt that. Like, honestly, I'm not doubting the existence of a Bigfoot. I'm doubting the footage of the Bigfoot <laughs> in America. Because, look, um, so there are so many different things. Like, people talked about krakens and all this shit. And giant, and they back then it's like, oh, that's a creature of myth. And then they find these big squids and everything that they were saying were. It, it was like giant squids were a thing of myths and shit like that. I until remember they when proven, I was, no, there are giant ass fucking. What are they called? Cephalopods or some shit? There yeah. are giant. Yeah, there are giant cephalopods out there. I remember in like. And it, it's like so. Why can't there be a big? What, what's the name of the big eight thing that they said has been extinct for whatever? Gigantopithecus. Yeah, that. Nice. It's like it, it's not impossible that one of those are still running around. Maybe more evolved. Yeah, just but the Gigantopithecus was fucking huge. This is more like the size of a bro. Of that's a fucking well, no, that's what I'm saying. Maybe like something that spawned off of that. I don't know. I don't know how evolution well, this works. Is, this Maybe you got to be smaller to adapt. Like, have you seen know. the size of a fucking gorilla? Like a full-grown gorilla? I'll tell you what evolution yeah. happens. You end up wearing a cowboy hat and a fucking looks like a Hawaiian shirt with like a pink. I don't know. A lay on your neck, and you end up singing. I want to be just like you. I don't, I don't know. To reference this there. No, but I, I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not saying it's Last far fetched. Toy Story and Matt's stuck on. Oh, the jungle books now. I'm not okay. I'm loving it though. Okay, okay, now I know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, did, I'm, do you I'm think not they named him after Louis Armstrong because they have the fucking trumpet thing in there. They do have the trumpet. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty racy. Hey, how shitty was fucking um? Let what's his name? Let as, me let me get uh, back to what I was saying. That, yeah, uh, hold on. What were you saying, Joe? Uh, Christopher Walken. How oh. shitty was that song? Like he was yeah. a good. Walk. I think he was good as the gorilla, yeah, but I think that song was kept not good. When he was singing. I was like, hey, I want to be just. I can't do an accent like him. But. I want to be well, just like, like he, you. The way he was singing, he's like, <laughs> my guy. Like, it's like yeah, and it was fuck. not good. But I think he he played, I think he, he played good for that fucking. Oh, like, oh yeah, oh, well, well say it again. Christopher Walken does play good, but the music sucked. Um, what were you saying, Casey? Um, let's see. So in. 1721 did you guys hear about french judas priest that was oh, fucking love that thing. just uh <laughs> what the fuck said uh what's it i don't know if his name is on here but he was living That's with rob halford and he's gay the and Nat Chaz. anyway they had a uh, they had reports of uh hairy creatures that would um scream loudly in the night steal livestock <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Casey, that is exactly the Catholic Church. You have priests, <laughs> preaches with, <laughs> pre, you have priests with hairy creatures that what are if, just constantly making their like, livestock of children just like creep. these people back in the like 1700s and stuff. You know, and prior to that, you know, the 16th century and so on and so forth. Like, what if they just heard a random rogue goat just out in the fucking middle <laughs> of the woods? Just, ah! It's true. Dude, yeah, do you goat, goat scream like you people? Know, do you know how scary it would be to hear fucking llamas getting murdered out in the middle of fucking nowhere? Because all you would hear is that fucking like scream be, that they do. I feel I feel like it'd it's be scary suspicious. to hear a fucking mountain lion. Because even if you don't know it's a mountain lion, it sounds like a crying baby. What was that? Um, what was that nine one one call from Washington, where the guy's talking about it? What was, was it? Sheep or chicken or something that was getting something? Um, he said his neighbor something or his dog or something found his dog dead. Now, uh, now here well, I, can, I, can, I can play the audio clip whole, if we if you guys want because I don't think we, yeah I don't get, I can't remember the audio clip thing I, I remember that it was yeah, funny the way he sec, said it I have it on my computer I downloaded it so just give me a minute to go pull it up and, so here it is Cleveland County nine one one I don't know if I should have called this in or not but What's going this guy on? Sounds drunk. Yeah, definitely. Camera, I took a picture of it. Took a picture of who? I don't know what. I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Yeah. I would not kill it because I was afraid to. But he went back up the mountain. Cleveland County 911. Hello. Can I help you? 
So, so that was that was the first call, that first one. So he has another call. Yeah, he another call. it was the second call I was talking about. So, yeah, yeah because we talked about his dog for, and his neighbor, I think. It, yeah, so that was the that was the call about the dog. So now we'll put like we're gonna continue on, and this will be the call about the. Um, I'm not the, trying to be. Bigfoot. I'm not trying to judge people, but uh, he just, sounds fucked hear, up, right? He was drunk off yeah, of that. Just that listen to him. Uh, that could have been that could have been Peter Dinklage that walked through there, murdered his dog, and he'd be so was, drunk. He's like, <laughs> was seen the Don shadow Bono going up. He would have seen the shadow and been like, "That's Sasquatch. That's Sasquatch Dinklage right there, big Dinklage." That, that that accent got to me, and then all of a sudden, all the credibility went out the window. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, oh. that's a, that's the hard part about that accent right there." Yeah, that's so, the type of person that tells you that the aliens are watching them, or the government's watching them when they're just sitting there, fucking half naked with their hey, nipples. The yeah, no, I, I, well, yeah, like the alien. I, it's like the alien probing thing. It's like, oh, we get it, Jim. Just come out of the closet. We already hate you already. In a, in a, in a like trailer park the family. The dude in Armageddon, you know, the fucking southern guy who got probed. It, it, it's not hard to understand. It's oh, yeah. Well, he was a hero because he was a movie yeah. star. But I, I think, well, I think everyone else is a hero, too. But I, I think most people that, you know, they say no, that they got no, probed. No, are, are no, just not, looking Armageddon, at, not Armageddon, Independence Day. <laughs> and it, yeah, no, I got well, you, Independence Day. I, I remember you if you were the guy that fucking to... dove into the anus yeah, of the, like, the mothership. Back. Yeah. Yeah, he Casey. dove right into, yeah, he, he got them good. <laughs> Um, but I think when people claim to get probed by aliens, they're secretly trying to come out to their um, <laughs> to their families. Their well, do you, know, you think probing by aliens like originated with anal stuff, or do you think it evolved to that you know, by somebody that was talking if, about animal even stuff? if aliens were out here? It's definitely a fetish. If it is a thing, it's definitely a fetish. I'm gonna then, be real. If I was gonna say an alien did something to me, it wouldn't have been my asshole. That's something that somebody out of their mind would say, probably. Yeah, I well, people that, that got probed. Well, because look, because that's what we would definitely do. We went would back for somebody. a second. We wouldn't shove something in their ass. We dissect. Well, well yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we would dissect. But I'm saying if we were trying yeah. to crack something or do something, True. we would have shoved it in their fucking neck, or it would yeah. be under the skin. But back then, nobody could. Nobody I could see. like. Back then, nobody could actually process that as like an whatever yeah, thing. Because I'm, I'm, what pretty sure, about. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure in science class we didn't put uh, a dildo up a frog's ass. Yeah, we learned more about it. I don't know for a fact, but that the probes that are up the asses are actually satellite dishes because we're a live TV show. Yeah. Yeah. From South Park. <laughs> why would you put your Why would you put your dish in there? Oh, yeah, thank you, you guys, my live ass access. Check it out. Check it out. If, yeah, let's get even back if, to the even if aliens were probing people, um, it's not like they're coming out with these big ass fist fucking probes. They probably have some like super skinny micro thing that you probably don't even feel. You well, know, why do they say they've been probed? Why are people like, oh yeah, I got in the ass by an alien? Yeah, maybe the alien sticks a finger. He's like, oh, that's no, not maybe it's just a roofie and you went to the wrong club. The phone home. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like on a scary movie where. It, the, the alien has his finger in the dude's mouth. And he's like, I think oh, oh, yeah. this is how we pee. I, th- I call it the I call it the classic <laughs> farmer coming out story. <laughs> no, but uh, listen, ever since that day, I've like taken it up the ass. Oh, do you, oh, like, Jim? <laughs> you know, it's a real alien to everybody else, but it's real alien to me. And this alien <laughs> sneaks in my room every night, and he uh, he probes me good. <laughs> Just yeah, I'm pretty sure the alien's not in it for your pleasure. <laughs> um, I, I, don't, I don't think Francisco outside likes being called an alien, but whatever. <laughs> hey. Yeah, the, the farms are full of them. <laughs> I'm just watching by you. Oh, oh, shit. That's why them crop circles are out there. Okay, what? so here. Well, I know. Just, what'd, what'd you, what, what'd you, what'd you say? Friend? What? That's what I say. Shit, you just yell. I said shit. the farms are full of them. Oh shit! I, I didn't say I, anything. I turned my microphone off. My kid. It was a reverb. You hear it yourself? <laughs> yeah. He's I was like, like what? Damn, that motherfucker spit. <laughs> God damn. Um, so um, let's let's hear that gonna... second clip. Hello. Can I help you? Yes. This is Tim Fiedler. Uh huh. Uh, you probably have my address. Yes, sir. 
What's going on now? Yeah, I shined a light on this thing, but I would not shoot it. What did it look like? It looked like a giant ape with a man's face. But I was afraid to kill it. And it made a whistling sound. He was about nine, ten foot tall with real long arms. I'll go out there, he gets gone. Now come back in the house, he gets back there again. And my dogs are just raising hay. Would I get in any trouble if I shot and killed <laughs> this animal or whatever it is? Would I get in any trouble? <laughs> I, I can't answer that question. <laughs> if he comes too close to me, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I can't uh, that's America that for question. you. That's America. <laughs> the oh, fuck is that? Fuck. It looks different. I'm gonna kill it. That's our fucking. <laughs> that's our nature, though. <laughs> what is that, Betty? I don't know. Just get back in, Cletus. No, no, no. I'm gonna kill, kill it. it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some permission yeah. from that dispatcher first, though. Hey, is all right, my kiddies critter you, out here? <laughs> you tell little again, boy to get in. Again, sir, you, sir that is endangered you. species. I don't <laughs> like it. It's rounding up my dogs. I'm gonna kill it. Again, this person sounds so fucking drunk. <laughs> they sound they super do. fucking drunk. They sound uh, like they're, picture, they're, 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 they're on, good. like, heroin. No, okay, let me, let me explain what the picture that this guy looked like. It looked like he had no teeth. So, like, he only looked like he had, like, a... Like, yeah, like, that, that's fine. Like, like, he might be talking with, like, a lisp or something. But, like, no, he sounds fucking slosh. Like, he's, like... Yeah. He does I, agree, slosh. I agree, but I, I was okay, just saying, dude, like... You don't know like, how many times I've heard my dad get drunk and be like, Ooh, do they want to fight? Oh, look, they're being whatever. Like, you hear, like, redneck drunk, like, fucking talk all the time. He's probably sitting there and he sees somebody walking by his property. He's like, son of a bitch, I'm going to get my gun. That's a tall motherfucker. Mm. You get the gun. You got to make sure I get verification. I you you think if I shoot this motherfucker and no one's around, you think you make a sound still? <laughs> <laughs> That's a goddamn animal. I won't get in trouble for it. Yeah, they killed my dog. The Cletus, you ran it over with the tractor fight. yesterday. Shut up. I don't, I don't. already did. <laughs> Look like I'm being big foot because it's one of those things with competition. It's like, yeah. why is it so round? I think we should have outcompeted it a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and we don't really see other any other evidence. Why is it living discreetly? Either it's more intelligent than us, um, or, or it just could doesn't be just exist. as intelligent as us. Or no, more. I think it would have to be more. It would have to be well, more because well, it's it, less it of could, it. Well, well, not necessarily. It less... could be an idiot and just afraid of everything. Well, then how would it live in a cave? Uh, like I'm not. Like, I'm not saying. I'm saying yeah. like an idiot for our standards. It, it would like, be smarter than most be, animals, yeah, but it, it would hard. Of... It would be hard to be secluded would, and stay alive we would see more. in the wilderness. Yeah, we like, would we see can be more secluded it. because it doesn't take much for us to survive these days. Especially yeah. in a forest, in it's not a jungle. It's it's easier to lose a species in a jungle and in a deep ocean than it is to in a forest. Yeah, and I think that actually I, that actually defeats my whole argument about the giant uh, uh, cephalopods, because in the but, ocean you can't explore every inch of that. Whereas yeah, the forest, in a forest can, is different. I mean, we can Who literally knows? send fucking anything out. Well, there. I believe that at one at one point in time, possibly there could have been a bigger. Um, species of like man back in the 1950s kind of when fucking maybe whatever. Can, i don't, I don't think I now know. um did yeah, do you guys think, that, think that the guy we on can the send, we can we can actually pinpoint everything on a grid in a little forest like that like we can send anything out there to fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, why why do all like, people go missing in national parks and we can never find them that's, that's true. because well, their bodies are that's, because that's you people. can't find a heat signature on something dead well, and, uh, and evidence of and problem. identities no, can but, but be lost, find, but if we are able people to bury stuff, creatures, over creatures stuff, are e easy. Um, here, here, here's what I want to know: able what do you to find do? something moving quicker than you can find something not? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike, Mike, what was your take on it? Yeah, what were you oh, I want to know what you 
I want to know what you guys think of uh, the actual recording. Do you think he saw something or do you think he's just fucking whacked out? Uh, I think he was drunk. I don't think he was on drugs. I think because I've literally seen older drunk, people I've been drunk. this. I've seen older people the last generation. What drunk. year was that recording? Um, let me let me do a quick search. Real I quick. think that was in the night. Was that 94? No. Um, give me one sec. I have the year. Just, I got to go pull up the page. Give me like 30 seconds. But Matthew, you're actually oh, right because nineties. It was. I thought it was ninety four. Maybe not. I knew it was in the nineties. Well, it was in the nineties. It doesn't specify the year exactly, but yeah, it, I, said it was in uh, Washington. Uh, Washington. I'd Which say is generally up there, like more, it would be more realistic to be questioning stuff. Northern Matthew, you brought West up a good stuff. point because it, like, it is easier to find stuff from the, like the ocean stuff is different i try to use that well as here's an the argument. thing as far as heat signatures go the areas where this happens is like super where they see them as super dense forest and there's animals in there so it's like if you see well, a he- heat signature would, you see a heat signature yeah there's i would never there. i would never yeah, but use they a can't heat even find footprints of anything like all the footprints i would, they found are people playing pranks and everything re- else well not regardless necessarily of, some of guys, them have improved but regardless of heat signatures so we have an intelligent well, creature it, it, no, that's the thing. Some, none of them have been proved none of them be been debunked like they're they're just there like yeah. they don't to know some, half of the to shit. some intelligence, they don't have any evidence because their evidence has not been neither subtle, proved nor debunked. Yeah, so this That's creature is intelligent enough to be aware of our existence. It's intelligent enough to be subtle, subtle, subtle to our existence. Noise, that, that yeah, heavy. you have a big creature which aren't very sneaky. Uh, we know that from the Hobbit. Uh, that's the <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> That's so all you're, the information you're, you need. Like, you're big enough. Does, you're you're does you're you're, you're, wait, you're you're big enough to be spotted maybe once or twice. You're subtle enough to be intelligent of. You're conscious of other humans out there, um, not trying. To, you know, but you're subtle enough to stay away from them. How is that possible? You're, you know. Well, like there's saying, Matthew, the the reason why we have you, night vision. The reason why we have all this technology. Yeah, like that. You're so if you're very few, so Bigfoot. If Bigfoot, either you're very few and you're rare. And there's ten of you, twenty of you, thirty of you, forty of you, maybe fifty. You're all super. They're they're, they're totally conscious of our um, of you know, you know our. Um, yeah, because there's no way there's one that's been surviving this whole time. And impossible. So there's yeah. probably forty or fifty, right? Endangered species list of this of, of this humanoid. Yeah. Um, we would but they're aware. They're bush, conscious. Like they're conscious bush, of. Try. Yeah. Well, they're, well, they're con- well. We know people do exist. We can find them easy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, they find Bushmen tribes that have exactly. No outside. Is it Bushmen? I might be being yeah. racist. Yeah. Well, there's Bushmen one. there, and you have the yeah, Sentinese I mean, Island. You have there's, people, there's, people in yeah, just different stages of do what not, we like, do not involve techno- themselves technological in stages. Yeah. Yeah. But and either either they're smarter than us, but they choose the bush life. Um, but yeah, that no. means they're not smart enough to be undetected. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is, it's like they're not. They're not. Why aren't they more advanced? Smarter than us to be undetected. They would have because to. They would have, have to be at this point. Because if you're too few, you would be discovered as a humanoid, as an omnivore, or even as a herbivore. Look or at the percentage of land you're gonna be viewed. that is undiscovered. We're going to see a lot than more earth. than you. Look at the percentage of how many things on land are undiscovered, rather than in, how many in a woodland, are water undiscovered. In, in a woodland biome, we would, we would find you as a big a creature as a bigfoot. We would find you already. The woods can get pretty dense, especially in places that aren't traveled much. Like yeah, but Amazon, pretty much every. If, if well, anything, no, no. Uh, I'm not talking about Amazon. Time. I'm not. I'm talking about woodland. I'm not I'm talking about jungle. I've gone into the woods and yeah, but get dark. Matthew, Matthew, what you what you don't? Hold yeah, but you've gone out. Really but, but, but we're Pacific Northwest is a thick wooded area. It's not just yeah. like yeah, yeah but also, but also, and how many species how many, are undiscovered? And how many hunters? How many get reported? There'd be an unknown number. How many bears? Before you, how many bears you seen? I would see as much bears as I would a Bigfoot's. Yeah, and well, Casey, I've, I've seen, right before you I've called me, one bear when I've gone Casey, right bears. before you called me, I was watching a debunk thing. Well, I tried to before I started setting up, but you started calling, and I was rushing to everything. But it was talking about like professional, like hunters and stuff trying to find footage of Bigfoot and couldn't find it. 
Like you tell me people that like that they can track animals and stuff. They know their way around like woods and shit. I'm not saying they know every inch of it, but it's like you're telling me they can't get one sighting. When was the last time so, somebody had a sighting of Bigfoot? Actually, just so, uh, just a couple months ago. Anything but, is uh, large. Was it blurry? Was it blurry? They just so happened didn't have a smartphone on them. They couldn't take a picture. Yeah, they they it had a Nokia 900, uh, just brick phone. You know, just basic camera. Looks like a looks like a Game Boy, you know. Uh, yeah, because that's Boy that's how that works. All of a sudden, everybody ages twenty years into the past when they need footage of proof of something that no one's ever seen. Because God, you know, how, today I can get a picture of something weird in the sky, but these guys who always have whatever, fast, uh, chances are they use Nokia you phones. Your phone out to take a picture. Yeah. So uh, very often, so, actually, guys, very, you guys, you guys, very wait, often. wait, wait, you guys, time out, time out, time out. Um, we're just. Because Mike was just asking about the video originally. I had a because fucking weird dude weird in my parking lot talking about. Talking video, about we we're going to cut it to break and then we we're going to go. Yeah, to that, I was trying to do that. Yeah, so like we're we're just trying to talk about the video. Dude, everybody all of a sudden. Like, with the, like, what we were just talking about, we're, we we want to kind of like throw that towards like almost the end. Like because we're going to go into like a bunch of conspiracies. Like why the fuck all this shit's going yeah, on. And, like, we can't, and I'm very like interested in that, but I'm just, I'm just wondering why everybody gets technologically backwards when it comes to proof for stuff. No, yeah. I, like I agree. Like, like they're, everybody, they're, yeah, because all of a sudden nobody gets like, no, everything's blurry. Everything's Polaroid cameras when it comes to stuff. But you know, we can get a picture of the sky when, uh, when there's a fucking meteor shower, we can get whatever. Like things are hard for my phone yeah, to even it's pick not up. Hard to get a picture of a and I, and you put Yeah, it but Casey, my my, my uh, metro phone can't pick up lighting that well with stuff like that. But you're telling me that people can always get perfect pictures of that, but nobody can go out with an actual good camera. But you, like my wife can take pictures of kids running hella fucking fast or a thing, and it's not so blurry. Some people it's don't like taking pictures thing. of things, and some people just like. No, but people that it. are trying to find proof all of a sudden have the worst. The worst ever. I know. know. The main thing with Bigfoot is uh, you can track things based on their diet. The thing is such a stupid thing. If you believe in something that's a blurry picture and tell me that nobody can get a good picture this day and age, then they're not actually trying or they're just making shit up. Because now you're just taking a picture of somebody in a suit and you're just blurring the lines and trying to make it look as big as possible. Yeah, yeah. The the whole thing is. I didn't get the one that history channel thing about that thing about them using the whatever thing where they can actually do use a microscope on that old footage but mike already said that that was already debunked so there's no point in me even watching that footage but like they yeah. have the technology to do that now so why does anybody i was gonna say yeah no really? i was gonna say comparing to why people gonna, how yeah, and the government's oh, not shit. gonna cover up Guys. something stupid as that because it's not doing anything for anybody my my, my phone got 15 percent left then go plug um, your phone in i can find a charger for it Main thing is though, comparing to someone that gets uh, abducted and lost in the woods is different than a Bigfoot because it's hard to find one person than it is to find one species in the forest. You have to have a even, species. Even crazier to find? A simple it, answer. It's uh, what Mike asked about the goddamn 911 call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, like, yeah. okay, look, I'm not, again, I'm not I'm doubting, the like, I'm okay. not doubting that it doesn't, like, exist because, like, I'm all for, like, there's species we can't find, whatever, but I'm saying, it's hard to believe that every time somebody has proof, it doesn't make, it. it's too blurry to see. Do Back then, it was an you. excuse. Right now, it's not. Do you think that, uh, old Billy Bob Thornton, whatever that guy's name was, who was on that call, do you think he saw Bigfoot when he no, made that I call? Don't. I really you, don't. Do think I think he was. I don't think he did. I mean, it could. But I'm be, not. But I, I'm not doubting the did. complete existence of it. But I, I'm doubting the areas they say that they witnessed the existence of it. Like a little forest out there, like whatever. Out in I'm not. Blood. I'm not sure if uh, homeboy myself, if uh, homeboy saw it or not. Um, I think he saw. I'm something. not doubting that it never did exist. I like, think he saw something. Exist. And I can't, I can't say without a certain that it was Bigfoot or wasn't, because I wasn't there, you know. And this guy yeah. does sound like he's had a, a few drinks. I'm saying that uh, the people that go to hunt this shit and they have like faulty equipment, like modern day, makes no sense. Because if you're preparing yourself to go see something, dude, I've watched videos of people going up and down trying to play the elevator game, like before shit that we were talking about, and they try to get in a Cecil hotel and they they weren't allowed in. It's like, and they had perfect fucking quality. It's like, why can't people go into the forest where they're allowed to be in and shit? Where these motherfuckers can get you a video from being outside and see the guy in a dim-lidded fucking area. 
telling them to go away. It's like you can't get somebody like <laughs> makes no sense. I watch podcasters. As far as that goes, I think this is a very seclusive creature. It doesn't. Work yeah, but I mean, seen. I'm saying you see people with like, like uh, you see YouTubers with all the lighting. I, I think of shit, them as like and they kind go of like a, do stuff. I think but of why them like are a, these people like so deer technologically just more backward. Like it, if if deers didn't have their fucking headlight I'm gaze, just, you wouldn't get pictures of them. Because they just take yeah, but I'm off. saying that these people are, they're so technologically backwards. Why are they even trying to do this at this point? Well, that's the thing. I th I think that it's hard to get one because they're like deers. They spook really easily, but they have yeah. More but why is than deer. everything blurry around it too? Like why is everything well, the, shitty quality? A lot of the ones that have shown pictures are like they're fakes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All these people that are trying to show proof, it's like they I'm, I'm it's not it's real to shit. Get, it's hard to get footage of them because they're as skittish as deer. So why are they lying about getting They have getting high, higher awareness. Because people's are at, people are assholes and they're trying to get fucking... Yeah, that's, a, that, that's my point. It's like these guys are not getting actual footage, so why lie about it? You cannot show proof of anything if it's all, like, doctored shit. Yeah. Well, I don't, you can't that, be, you can't be like uh, whatever. But, but I'm just saying it's like I'm not saying 100 percent that there's well, not maybe somewhere else. But you got to give I me would an say, actual plausible like area that they'd be in. Like I was guys, trying to bring up the thing. I would before. say where's the Bigfoot droppings? Where's their diet? Where's everything else that we could observe from a where's walking fourteen, possibly fourteen foot animal? With that, you want to go to break? Yeah, let's uh, let's take a quick little break. Uh... And we'll be right back, you guys. When I'm not sitting here drinking with these dill weeds, I'm enjoying a nice podcast. Preferably the Conspiracy Outpost podcast. It's on every big platform right now. Pick or choose whatever you want. We got YouTube. We got Spotify. We got, uh, you know, Good name pods. we got it. Good pods. You know, anything, everything. Just check us out. Just type in Conspiracy Outposts on any podcast service you're going on i don't know i'm a little tipsy but you know and after you're done listen to us ramble on and on and on don't forget to hit that subscribe button you know like and share and get it out to all your friends don't matter who could be the psychopath next door could be your best friend <laughs> could be your lover you know anything you yeah <laughs> and you know what actually it doesn't have to be your friend share it to strangers we don't give a fuck Share it to the weirdo you work with. Share it with your, uh, the possible, uh, damn. Share it with the red guy with the red anybody. dot on share his house. Or share it <laughs> with the guy with the red dot on his house. <laughs> share with anybody. It could be your friend, could be your mother, your father, any siblings, maybe even your coworkers. Maybe even that guy that possibly might shoot up your store. Who cares? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe it might get you by. <laughs> oh, man. Promote conspiracy. See outpost before I rip your goddamn dicks off and ship them up your ass. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm glad y'all stay put like you should. This is Bigfoot. Let me know about your input. Nice, nice. So, uh, did you guys, uh, by chance, read anything about Ape uh, Canyon by chance? No, sir. Uh, we did no. not. I didn't Isn't that where everyone goes to get the monkey pox? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Or around here, the made up disease that just came around, not the fact that it came around in the 1950s. Ape Canyon sounds like Burning Man, but except for instead of uh, uh, STDs, it's monkey box. No, so in uh, 1847, Paul Kane recorded uh, stories by the natives about uh, Skookums, a uh, race of cannibalistic wild men living on the peak of Mount St. Helens in southern Washington. Um, in this area, there's a an alleged incident in 1924 when a an encounter between some prospectors and a group of uh, aggressive ape men and uh, they reported that they uh, were being attacked and they were throwing rocks at them at their cabin roof from a nearby cliff where one of the miners apparently shot one of them with a rifle. Oh, those were Wendango, baby. But then, <laughs> in 1980, there was an eruption from Mount St. Helens, yes. and there were re reports from witnesses saying that there were s several Sasquatches being uh, rescued from the area. 
And uh, in 2015, same area, a uh, college professor, how do you know how to say her? College professor, uh, Michael Townshed, claimed to have uh, discovered uh, bones, prey bones, with human like bite impressions on them on the south side of the South Mate, uh, on the south side of Mount St. Helens. And uh, right. he said the bite marks were two yes. times wider than a human bite. And uh, they also found 16 inch footprints in the area as well. I'm so that's all, you that's the all in the same area of Ape ca uh, Canyon in Washington by St. So Helens. Where we're at going. I'm at going. I don't hear anything. Can you guys hear that? It's I not do. Okay. echoing anymore. Um, I actually, thinking about whatever, I believe more actually in abominable, maybe snow, or abominable snowman. Abominable um, snowman. Oh, my God. Not abominable snowman. God damn it. I believe more of a Bigfoot on the mountainside than I do actually in a forest. Oh, yeah. After no, after that's abominable. It kind of made me, it yeah, kind of made me reject forest idea because thinking about it it's easy to traverse through a forest rather than a mountainside or hard mountain. to traverse through a mountainside makes more as sense as someone who's been lost in a forest no, no it's not <laughs> well yeah it's yeah. hard to find one person yeah but missing I mean, people easy it's easy to lose track of but a, there's but more people species? that can traverse there's more people that can traverse through a forest than there is mountainsides like it's, you have professional uh, guides more through forests and mountainsides exactly they tell, like literally there's more people that travel through forests than there are that travel up mountains a 14 like, foot it's hard to lose a, a, a race of humanoids that are 14 feet we can find yeah, at the even in the point, jungle even in the jungle we can find silverback gorillas which are a lot smaller in stature well i mean rather than finding they're pretty something big. more we elevated can, where it's harder to yeah. breathe well, it's yeah, harder mountain to gorillas we can find those motherfuckers through but the jungle somebody on the same so elevation guys, as us would be harder so, to find so are you guys saying that then if bigfoot is a mountainous creature and not a forested creature then the argument that people saw him on Mount St. Helens in Ape Canyon, like it's more, more plausible, more plausible, more likely, more likely, because I'm not doubting Bigfoot. I'm doubting the I areas. They why the area seen. got that name Ape Canyon is because of a uh, because of all the Bigfoot sightings over there. And tell me why only the most drunken redneck have ever found Bigfoot in fucking the same elevation as us. <laughs> Like, do you have anybody else trying to prove that they've seen them, whatever, with any, Have you like, guys ever oh, had, like, yeah, a weird encounter? Links that I sent you, there's plenty of normal-ass people that are on those. Dude, I see shit all people. the time that I know isn't actually there. <laughs> well, that's... that's. I, I'm, I've talked to a couple, thing. like, loggers and shit, no, you know, to go and tag trees and stuff, yeah. so they're up there, like, by themselves or with just a partner tagging are they trees. smoking trees out there? Sasquatch is telling they fucking could be, and they they say be like, oh dude, it is fucking nuts out there. I'm not 100 percent doubting whatever. Like, I'm just saying saying it's like, oh yeah, there's I'm definitely just saying it seems more stuff. plausible up higher. Well, here's the oh, thing: a lot of the places giant, where the, you know? these dense big, uh, forests are are generally in in hilly terrain. They're kind of mountainous. It's not it's not like down here in the valley where we have hills. It's like when you get up more coming out of the valley yeah, but i mean the biggest the biggest whatever the biggest thing was here in northern cali and i mean yeah our mountains it, in the green triangle crazy. which is forested and mountainous and then in washington which is forested and mountainous no, i'm talking like i think like yeah you, know, you, you don't hear about them in northern higher Nevada, altitude, where it's all fucking desert higher yeah, altitude. acres and acres nobody's uh, nobody's coming out to northern bottom. california to conquer a mountain that only one percent of people that go up there actually make it up there i that's think what, i think the same probability of encountering number, or even existing a uh, a woodland uh sasquatch would be the same probability of a mermaid of a humanoid fish species. I feel mermaid. like a mermaid's more likely that, than a Bigfoot. Yeah. I, I, I think, think it's the same problem. No, no, not the Casey, 100%. It's, it's because zero. I brought I think up it's all zero. that stuff Probably earlier. closer to getting attacked by a shark. I, I'm saying that mermaids are probably more likely because I didn't think about, you know, ocean. Not even came. mermaids. But yeah, it's but like, because... The ocean's wild. We would, just well, the, so ocean's wild. Ocean. the ocean's wild. The ocean's wild, ocean is but very we're, unexplored. And the oceans are wild, but why haven't any of their gear resurfaced? 
Uh, uh, woodland creatures. If you're an intelligent, uh, no, if you're I'm intelligent about, humanoid, Matthew, I'm talking about mermaids like translucent creatures that do never come back from the top. Like yeah. deep, deep, dark water. You're so they intelligent. We, nobody could ever actually. Use, see we these. find new we, shit in the ocean every year. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, well, where's the tools that, at? That, that is more accurate. We want tools. We want tools. That's the thing. A sign of intelligent is we want tools. What is that intelligent? You're giving it too much credit. I think it's. I like don't a think then how is it so elusive? How is it I, so elusive? It's so I, alive I, and not endangered. We, if it's it, not endangered, then it, it's an intelligent. I think it's like a. I think it's like a deer, just more aware. No, no. So it, is, it, so it runs before it does anything. If it is super intelligent, then it I, can be elusive. It's super but it's. If it's not if super it's enough to be, if it's, it's to major be more in population, aware, more conscious, no. if it's more conscious, it has to be smart enough to evade us. Exactly. Yeah, it has to either be major in population to exist, or in small in population, but elusive, so land. super conscious well, like, of us. A deer and is as not a human smart enough to us, but it knows to elude humans. But it's major in well, population. It's not, but it's not, Casey, though. But I it's literally major seen a deer running between Chico and Hamilton earlier. It's, yeah, that's uh, Saturday. So like it's, it's major well, yeah, in but population. But deers and headlights, they're not very smart creatures. And so they're just smart they can get. A, look at and here's guys, another thing. Guys, guys here's listen, another thing. I, Wait, Matthew, hold on. Listen to me. Matthew, hold on. Yeah. Here's another thing. With fire seasons and everything else, most creatures tend to run from the smoke. And I'm saying there's been fires fucking everywhere. So we would have seen, like, and um, so but my that's, boss. That's what I'm saying. Ranch, like with the, that's what my I'm boss saying. has this ranch, whatever, and cre like bear, like a bear literally ended up on the fucking whatever. It's yeah. like with fires, creatures move away from the smoke. A Bigfoot See, <laughs> re ran away from the smoke. California is constantly I'm, on fire. That's I'm, saying, I'm saying, I'm thinking that it possibly right has the, like, the intelligence of like a boar. Well, you unless know, it's got the intelligence of Superman and abilities. Let, let me see, let me see this. Well, but there, more, there. More, it would run away before it would gore you. You guys. Like, yeah, you guys well, that's what this bear did. They captured it on camera. It, like, literally ran out, and it was fucking, I think it was digging through people's shit and then ran when somebody walked out. I don't know what so, kind of bear it was. My boss so, was showing me a video of like the yeah, bear rummaging through we shit. We see bears, but it, it ran away. Yeah, but but I'm saying this was during fire season. Hella yeah. and animals they wouldn't regardless see on the of property fire, were there. Regardless of fire, so, I'm I'm just saying. But no, but I'm just saying though. With our what, fire season, with our history, the last creature, couple of years, one would have flushed out by now if exactly. there was multiple. Exactly. Can I say this? What is creature? What creature Safety. is relevant to man and size that we have not spotted yet in woodland areas? Woodland not being as dense as the jungle, super straightforward. I mean, yeah, well, you can get thing. lost. If we, ha if we haven't spotted we haven't them, spot we haven't diet? spotted them. Well, the, why? Why not? And so because we haven't. The, because they're endangered species, or they get, can I appreciate something right now? But they're extinct. It'd be possible that they're extinct and they, they die off a long time ago. Because the only two things, either like deer, you try to use deer as an argument, but it doesn't work because deer is a majority. So either you have a major population where we do see one of them, if you're that size, we see them. Or uh, the Bigfoot is intelligent. It's 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 small in population. Yeah, like boars do whatever, but we acknowledge Like, we know where uh, they're at. It's able, it's able to be hidden. subtle to our own consciousness. It's conscious enough of us, so it's aware that we exist. But if it's conscious that we exist and that we're looking for, it would have to revolution. It would have to have tools. It would have to have tools. We haven't seen any tools of it yet, and so why even though? diet shit? Why would it have, have to have shit? tools? Because, because if they were like well, us, they need them. If if they're humanoids, if anything, if I'm just uh, yeah, I, I'm projecting from our own um, uh, from our own evolutionary chain. Like well, that's we have hard to, to see to... tools. Or shit, I would love to see some shit. I'd love to see some feces. I would love to see some some dietary like shit, like what the fuck does he eat, kind of shit like that. It would have to remain. There's no way that these creatures are so few in numbers and that they avoided, they evaded. Uh, our are they like cats that they, they bury evaded, all their feces and everything else? List. They're still relevant and they're able to bury their shit, bury their tools, and they leave no stone. Like yeah, because more noticeable dangerous. animals are dying out because of the it fucking climate change. Sense. You're going to tell me that in, uh, in triple-digit the weather, these hairy bastards are not making foot. themselves noticeable by now? And, and, you're, and you're not larger than six, or like five foot? You well, and again, get, like, tiny. they're, like, people are saying they're it's like, they're 700. Hobbit, that one guy was like, sense. it has to be something over 300 pounds to make that print. It's like, oh, well, they actually estimate over 700 and something pounds, which is How fucking crazy. Spotted. But you're telling me something that hairy and that heavy 
Kentucky is going to survive in Northern California, especially in this climate Unless in like 120 How degree weather. Yeah, they're, 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 there's no way you could. If you're extinct, not, I so many animals are going extinct right now. So many animals are close to being endangered. I mean, and the fact is, like, if there is like a Bigfoot thing, the fact is that they would be more public. Like, they would be coming out. Like, they'd be out on the surface by now. Things are changing. Like, the climate is changing rapidly. Something that heavy and something that hairy would have been shown think, by now, especially with the wild, like the wildfires that go on around here. Are fucking crazy. We have not yeah. had a fucking smoke if, free summer in what, like three years? Realistically, if you longer, I don't remained remember. a low profile um, with a few numbers, it, for, to Turn us on, right now with or, our technology. Or your microphone fell or something. If you're remaining a, a small profile with, uh, you know, I think we would have discovered them by now if they were alive. It's possible they exist that one time, died out probably within the last. Like, I think a bottomable years. snowman make that. more sense. I think yeah, a bottomable snowman, snowman make snowman. more sense. Yes, I think they exist because that, that's There's climate less, you can't really. Yeah. yeah. Let's get on the right foot, and by right foot I mean the big foot. Now let's get on that big. Well, foot. I have a question. Did anybody, did anybody besides Mike do any research? Besides I, Matthew, because I, know I did a little Matthew enough Matthew. enough to give me an impression on the situation. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through some encounters. So I told you about the Ape Canyon one. So in Arkansas, uh, in 1971, a family reported a large, hairy, covered creature Might that well started a woman in her home after the creature reached through the window to grab some shit. Breast. <laughs> yeah, breast. Grab a breast. He was he was doing the old you know you guys seen that movie uh, Land of the Lost with uh, Will Ferrell. Oh yeah, okay. So we used to watch that many of times drinking. And you know yeah. when uh, when Chuck is uh, they're like, uh, it's just like Holly, you, and then he reaches over. He's like, Chuck. In uh, 1974, the New York Times they published a story about Albert Austin. Einstein? He's a Canadian prospector. Uh, he claims he was kidnapped by a family of Bigfoot and held captive for six days. Hold That's up. That's hilarious. Did he get some Bigfoot pussy? Oh, I <laughs> got some Bigfoot dick. Dude, he got some of that Bigfoot. You, you, guys, uh, you guys watched that uh, Futurama episode where... Um, Oh uh, yes, and, yeah, and uh, oh, they, they land on the island, uh, that planet with the Amazonians, and dude, still the funniest. And, uh, he was, he was like, hey, at least we're getting laid out of it or something. It we, like, it's like you guys, like, we snow. got snoo snoo. Death by snoo snoo, yeah. Death by snoo snoo, it's like we got <laughs> snoo snoo. And then the alien, what's his fucking name? He's all crawling on the fucking yep. wall. Kip. They're trying to get him down. Yeah, Kip. They're trying to get him down with a fucking broom or whatever the fuck. And he's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, they're bringing that back on Hulu is what Casey I'm excited. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what yeah. were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about uh, these marijuana farmers up in Northern California. Okay, yeah, green the Green Triangle area where there's all those sightings. Yeah, the, it's actually called the Emerald Triangle. Emerald but, Triangle, there we go. And uh, it consists of uh, Humboldt County, Trinity County, and I think it's Mendocino County. Is that how you Mendocino? say it? Mendocino. Mendocino. Mendocino Ooh. County. Yeah, those are the three counties that consist of the Emerald Triangle. So claims claims that a uh, Bigfoot has been seen has been going on since uh, in in that area at least 1970s to you know currently you know I'm sure there's somebody out there seen it, but in uh, 93 actually the year I was born, um, Bigfoot was accused of killing three migrant workers. Uh, on a farm. Well, so, no, bro. Uh, it, that's the Emerald Triangle. Those were yeah. just cartel kills. <laughs> yeah, look it up. It's pretty crazy. Is it? Is that an actual, like, is there actual yeah. things? Well, oh, the yeah. fact Most that you would blame something on a mythical it. creature well, like that. Well, yeah, yeah. It's I'm saying very far-fetched. I mean, well, people all the time there's blame things on uh, two gang area, families. But there's there's more to the conspiracy, though, you guys. You guys didn't let me finish, though. It says that when when he killed these migrant workers, it says that he was carrying a Trump flag. And... And it said, "Make America Great Again." It was really yeah, weird. It, was, it was super weird. And uh, really, and there's hella people around? outside, you know, the Justice Building, holding up a, uh, 
holding up signs saying hashtag justice for Bigfoot. So uh, let's get that trending. You guys. No, you guys, there was a bunch of people and like they were wearing hats that said, let's go, Brandon. You know, I'm kind of glad that the cartel killed those three people instead of Bigfoot because I don't want Bigfoot, you know, to be some violent creature. You well, know? Hey, I just want to say, dude, I'm not 100% with people. Hey, I'm not 100% with whatever, people. but I do get people in my store that are actually really polite and they have shirts and hats that say, let's go Brandon on them. And it's like part of me are like, this guy's going to be a dickhead, but they're not always. It, it just reminds me. Well, that our president it doesn't matter. well, no, it, it, it doesn't reminds matter me. Political spectrum. People are people. You get assholes. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. It reminds yeah. me that people are still people, no matter what they. People are people, like, no matter think. what. And 80 percent of people aren't actually. Political. Well, and then you also got to remember that the president does not have as much pull as you think oh, yeah. they do. Oh yeah, they are yeah, figureheads. Yeah. They are figureheads. Literally, they are the face of everything that's going on around I, them. You know, they're I, the I what's the they're. Yeah. Who you blame when shit above their head exactly. goes on? Yeah, yeah. They're just a fucking face. Like, it's like the like Queen Biden of England. Either, but I know everything Biden's that goes on in for England the ta- for the fucking oil or gas. Biden's not responsible for the gas prices for the most part. Well, yeah, like people I'm where I where I live, they're either, like, yeah, just, our our gas like doesn't Biden, even come from Ukraine. You we know, don't get fuel you. from Ukraine or it Russia. Comes from Biden. Ukraine or Russia is not where we get fuel. We get fuel from da 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 da. Doesn't it, you guys? You guys, it doesn't matter who the fucking president is. Someone's gonna bitch. Gonna on, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna 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 bitch on someone. People are gonna bitch no matter what. Honestly. That's why it's a joke when you pick a political party because they're all a fucking laughing stock. They're all. Yeah. They basically just say the same shit, but just you know. Yeah, but all they are is a face to the, the country. No matter coin. what's going on. It just depends on what the face is. Like when they picked Trump, it was like, oh, dude, this guy's the laughing stock because he's a celebrity. That's why it was so funny when he was. And then when now that Biden is, it's like, oh, this guy who is literally a fucking has dementia is the laughing stock of the world. It's like we can't pick a president that actually seems strong. None of them are. Yeah, I hate corporations and Biden's a corporate Democrat. Yeah, which is the. Biden and Trump are both pieces, me. both pieces of yeah. shit, and they're laughing stock. Yeah. Dude, everybody laughs at us Trump because Trump is a corporation too. Because Trump owns so many corporations. They're both. They Trump. are both fucking bad choices. Yeah, you can't it's take like, either one like, of them serious. Stupid. That's why everyone makes jokes about our presidents, and everybody in America is like, "This is America, this is whatever." Oh, if Trump did this. Oh, if Biden did this. It's like, no, dude, you're all fucking. We all seem like redneck idiots over here because of our choices. It's not we everybody, guys, but uh, we are literally the last guys. Talk but guys, about Sasquatch, though. That Have you guys heard of uh, pareidolia? Yeah, the, it's the disease, uh, or it's like the paranoia or disease, whatever the fuck it is, of seeing human faces in things that aren't there. Yeah. It's one of the so, main reasons why people think they see Sasquatch when they might not have. So this is a... Uh, like looking at a bush and think they see a face. Yeah, so this oh is the... Little, this is the... Um, the written out thing is that isn't that, uh, isn't that what people observe with- human like faces and figures within natural environment photos and videos of poor quality alleged to depict uh, bigfoots are often attributed to this phenomenon currently known as blob squatch yeah it's also yeah. like people who like in case bears, you don't want like in glimpses are just like oh sasquatch like bears is a big one because they're or, big fucking hairy Like, what I, what I feel hey, like the first that time, thing kind of explaining, like, what I get in my head is, like, you know when you're driving and you're, like, at nighttime and you're fucking super tired and you think you see shadows and shit running across the street and you're like, fuck, what was that? A goddamn unicorn. Casey. Or hey, a Casey. Little, white lady, bro. Do you remember? Really, that's just a fucking, uh, <laughs> that's just, uh, Casey. your uh, headlights hitting the tree shadows. <laughs> Casey, do you remember... I'm not going to say their name, whatever, for the sake of the podcast thing, but the person who rented out Russell's room after he left um, in the basement, they made edibles or whatever, and you're only supposed to take a piece of one. And so it was the first time I ever ate edibles, and I kept eating them, and they were like, oh, Joe, it's like, how much of that did you eat? And I was like, I don't know, like a lot of them, whatever. And it's like, you're only supposed to eat a piece of one. And I ate most of the bag. (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm fine. Like, I was being a dick about it because I was drinking. The uh, yeah. the small cans of Old English. You used to call them the Dollar Hollows because you, you used to get them for a dollar. But um, I started tripping out, and I went outside. I started laughing because I started about hearing colors. What? Are you talking about? No, I'm talking about. Uh, who, who are you talking about? We can edit this out. I don't know. Okay. When he was living there, he was there. Yeah, so it was me. 
pardon. Um, edit all that out. But anyways, this That's part it. you don't have to edit no. out. I didn't know who you were talking about. <laughs> well, I was trying to get a reference of uh, who. Yeah, so I ate those and I was like, well, they don't feel like they're doing anything. Like I was being a smart ass. I did. And it's like, oh, I have a high tolerance. I started hearing colors of the wind. And I started laughing. I went outside to pee and I swear to God, sh- because the way that the wind was swaying in your grandma's tree outside next to the basement in the backyard on high street, uh-huh. it looked like shadow things were crawling through there. Yeah. Six, six. Uh, six, six. I forget which one's which. Yeah. I forget. But which the, the shadow six, fucking, it looked like shadow things were crawling through the trees and twisting their head at me. They had no faces. They're just shadow things. And it looked like, the only thing that looked detail was around their heads, but they were literally the the laws of gravity made no sense because they were crawling off branches that would snap easily. They were really really small branches. Yeah, but who's just like, going, like different dimensional beings, you know? Yeah, but I was freaking out and I was looking at them scared, and they were crawling through the fucking thing. I was laughing at first, like "What the fuck? This is fake!" And when they twist their heads, like "Fuck this!" And I fucking well, pulled my dick back in my pants, and I ran back in. And I was laying on an air mattress in the middle room where we where that glass well, table the rape was. room. Yeah, where the glass table was in the <laughs> basement, and I was freaking That's out because I room. felt like everything was pulsing. So I busted back into the. I kept messaging. <laughs> I was on your guys' your grandma's Wi-Fi, and they kept messaging uh, in the other room. They I was freaking out, and I went in there, and she was rocking me to sleep right next to. The- I was squeezed in between both of them. They kept saying, "Should we call an ambulance and everything <laughs> else?" Because I was freaking out because I thought I was gonna I die. I couldn't fucking breathe. Don't say a word. <laughs> well, he legit was rocking me. Boy, got you. Dude, yeah, dude. he was rocking me, and the fact, the state that I was in, that I couldn't like, fucking. Breathe, wait, do you mean like rocking, rocking like a baby, or rocking you like he's just pounding you? Yeah, <laughs> like oh, rocking dude. your night away. No, dude. Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. just snoring. And I'm laying next to and he's got his yeah. arm under my head and under my, like, I think under my back. It wasn't under my legs, but he was, like, rocking me, telling me, shh, like, trying to get me to go to sleep. I was freaking out. I was freaking out. I couldn't breathe. I was there freaking out, too. And she was just like, should we call an ambulance? Should we whatever? And she was freaking out because I was freaking out. The way I was spazzing made it seem like I was dying, but I wasn't dying. The next day, dude, I, I felt like jelly, and I walked from downtown High Street to Virginia Street to go get ready because I had. Um, God damn. I had, I had um, a GED fucking uh, testing, like a practice test, like a uh, tutoring thing. So I went. I walked from there, feeling like I was, I couldn't walk. My legs felt like jelly. Walk from downtown <laughs> to Virginia Street, got ready, went down to D Street. To got get, that D. That walked D. from D Street to Thermalito to the welfare office to do our practice uh, tutoring test things for our GD test. And the workers kept asking me if I was okay, if they need to go take me to eat or something, if I was like malnourished and shit. And it's like- <laughs> You probably oh, were. <laughs> No, I told him after we left, like, why the fuck did you not tell me that before? Because I just didn't say anything to him. Our weird ass fucking walk all the way from uh, so- from D <laughs> Street and Southside to fucking. Oh, Thermalino. dude, knowing you, I don't know how you were then, but knowing you now, if I went anywhere with you and you didn't talk, I'd be like, there's something wrong. Yeah, this was before <laughs> I fucking did any like. Like if you were just quiet, I'd be like, "Oh, this motherfucker's Joe's gonna about to kill well, himself." At, at this, at this fucking point in time, the only thing I ever did was drink on that green bridge, Mike. Weed, and I and I would never take edibles again because of that experience. Yeah, I just hate but, it. Um, edible, just a little yeah, bit ago. This is also no, pre me doing anything like any of the other shit that I've done. Let me let me so tell you guys. Like, it was hard for Alex probably to believe that I did that because he knew me only as a fucking like alcoholic. My uh my first edible experience. So the first time I did edibles was with Matthew. Uh it was with our uh our uh yeah our old manager. He gave us uh some cookies and Matthew brought Matthew was he a piece of shit? Him. Wait, 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 hold on. That dude's a piece of shit now? No, no, different guy. No, he's cool. Guy. Guy. Oh, not the 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 one that kind of looked like he was on drugs. That guy looked like he was on drugs to me. 
I don't know. About. Yeah, I don't know. It's one weird. The skinny dude. I see him on Facebook. I don't know his last name. I don't know. But anyway, anyway so the so I'm talking about. So he made us some edibles and uh, he gave them to Matthew to uh, bring back to we were at his house in the basement, you know, and he came back and uh, I think you were there, Joseph. I think you showed up there with the uh, sleep later. You there the whole time. I don't remember. But so we get there. And uh, Matthew gets off work because I got off work, I think, like an hour before him. And he shows up. He's like, oh, Chris, uh, brought you this uh, cookie. And uh, what's it called? Uh, so I just pop it in my mouth, whole cookie, you know, just throw it in my mouth. And uh, like it was in my mouth. And, uh, and uh, but anyway, so I pop the whole cookie in my mouth and Matthew's like, like, like right after I did that, Matthew's like, oh, yeah, he said, don't eat the whole. He's like, don't eat that much of it because it's super strong. And I already had the whole cookie in my mouth. I was like, well, too late for that. And I just chewed it up and swallowed it. And but Matthew was like, he's like, oh, fuck it. So he took his cookie and he threw his whole cookie in his mouth. too. Yeah, I had that another cookie, like though, that. too. I had another cookie, too. Oh, OK, so. So yeah, that's always always was, down. Like if, if you if you go head deep into something. Matt's there. <laughs> so, True. so we, uh, it's like, hey, Matt, we're about, we're about 15 uh, minutes into this. And, uh, Matthew's in the corner laughing about some stupid joke that he made about the fucking song changes. Yeah, and no, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell we'll you. Tell the joke. Uh, oh, I remember this. It's, the it's blessed, it's Tupac. Yeah. Tupac was like, Oh, so I'm cracked to the kids. I gotta get paid. Hey, that's just the way it is. I was laughing so hard. It took me 30. It took me all. What like do you say? Minutes. Get just ass from the kids or something. Yeah. No, no, no. Selling your butt crack to the kids. Dude, I got to get paid. Well, hey, that's just the way it is. And Dude, wasn't this in the basement? Laid by laid. That's the way it is. This was in the basement, wasn't it? it took you guys me 20 yeah. minutes to explain that joke. Yeah, so Matthew. You guys, <laughs> no, 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 Matthew, you kept explaining and you guys were laughing so hard and like we kind of laughed. But you guys were like, no, 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 because I, I wasn't I laughing about stop. it because I wasn't even high yet. So I was so dying, Matthew, dude. Matthew and Matthew kept explaining the yeah. joke to everybody. It was like, like hit with Joker's laughing gas, dude. I couldn't was, stop laughing. It, it so hard. Yeah, and you kept Matthew, trying to explain the fucking joke and everybody painful. like thought it was yeah, 20 funny, minutes. But you were like, too, no, it's because it was way longer than 20 minutes. This right, it's half an hour. kept laughing at Matthew and Matthew kept thinking it was funny. So he kept saying the same, like he got the joke out and then he kept so saying the same joke harder. And yeah. And, and, and it was, it was super funny. Well, and then Casey, the thing is that joke, that's not the first time the joke was told. The first time the joke was told was way before that. Everybody knew the joke already. That wasn't the first time Matthew has said that Matthew's <laughs> the one that made the joke a long time ago. But the fact is that Matthew kept trying to say it again. And it was like, <laughs> Like whatever, it's like me and everybody else has already heard that joke. I was high, I was so whatever. high. But so, yeah. but that's so what I was saying. Was like it was I a was joke like, that we've heard a thousand hurt. times prior. So, so I was, I was like, not feeling anything. It's like I think we're like thirty minutes in, and then, and I think I don't know who showed up with, and I think probably Joseph came in at the same time. But well, that, that's what I was gonna say. Me and heard that joke like a bunch. Yeah. Of times. So, so uh. And Joseph come in, and then I'm sitting there talking to Wesley, and they bring in this bottle of brandy, and where everybody's passing it around and shit, you know. And I'm sitting on this couch, like this love seat with the, uh, and we're getting all close and personal, you know, fucking uh, <laughs> lips almost almost touching each other. No, Animals. um, no, I'm just kidding. No, so I'm sitting there talking to jo uh, Wesley about what's going on because Matthew's over there still saying the same joke, fucking laughing his ass off, still fucking Dying. laughing. I was like, I want to be on that Animals. level, but I'm not feeling anything. And hey, two cookies. So we were like sitting there talking and then in the middle of this conversation, I just shut the fuck up and I just kind of like laid back and chilled. And then he looked at me, he's like, that cookie just hit you, didn't it? And I was like, dude, I am so fucking high right now. <laughs> Let's uh, cut to break real quick. We'll be right back. I hope we're all yeti to listen back into the Conspiracy Theory podcast. Go ahead and pop a sass squat and tune back in, friend. So did you guys see in the 2007 about uh, Robert Wilson, what about Vancouver him? Island? He uh, yeah, he passed him. away. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, he he might have. It's, I don't know. It's been a while, but uh, he's claimed to have seen a uh, a Bigfoot that he thought was a bear, and when he got closer, he said it was a hairy man who looked caveman like with Neanderthal. Neanderthal, ah, Neanderthal. Neanderthal. 
<laughs> Neanderthal. Yeah, Neanderthal feature. H is silent. And but he was uh, as big as a bear. Mm. That was in a uh, I don't know if you heard that. I, I had not. Yep, yep, yep. So there's that one. And then, you know, there's claims that Bigfoot's actually not a part of this world. He's actually an alien. Let's talk about that. Let's... I want to fucking talk about it. <laughs> can, you, can you give us more information I, on it? Cause I, 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 it. Saw you, I saw you, like, grinning Mike when I was, uh, <laughs> when I was saying it. <laughs> So in uh so in 1973, uh, Stan Gordon, UFO researcher, he said that uh, <laughs> he noticed a increase of uh, sightings of Sasquatches, where uh, there's ha- a uh, high number of extraterrestrial sightings as well, and uh, he claims that Bigfoot hails from space. Okay. This high number in alien like areas space too. Could it be just that there's a higher number of fucking kooks out there? Well, That's what I thought. Fucking getting high as shit and be like, oh fuck, there's shit everywhere. Immediately, what I thought when you said that. But then again, I'm also impartial because I like space. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're like. <laughs> I, I like think space. Matt, you're, you're the biggest skeptic in the group. It's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna be like space fucking. Bigfoot. It's gonna be like Freddy versus Jason in space, but it's gonna be like <laughs> Freddy versus Sasquatch in space. In like 3D. AVP. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, so he has a, uh, a website that you can go on. To this day, it's still active. You can call and he has a hotline number. It's 24 hours. Call him and uh, report sightings and whatnot. Hey, hold up. Casey, go he, on speaker and call him. Yeah. Oh, do it. Let's fucking Dude, do it. He'll That's tell you how to get the. He'll tell you how to get the kashik. Come on. Matthew, you ready for the number? <laughs> you no, Casey, you do it. You're already Matthew, on a watch list. Well, <laughs> Matthew, Matthew's funnier than me. Like, uh, you know, he he he's he's qui- he's quippy. He's all, he's quick on his feet. He you is know? he is quippy. <laughs> no, I need I need like I don't, I'm not good on that stuff. But Matthew Matthew's fucking Matt, solid. Matt's fucking quick. Yeah, like guys. Where like, Joseph I, go? I don't know. Uh, I'll go right back on it in a second. Okay. Okay. You want me to call him? Yeah. So What's the name? phone number is seven two four. Um, might eight, have three, to block eight. this out possibly. No, it's okay. fine, and they have it on their website. Eight three eight seven seven six eight. And that is the Stan Gordon UFO Anomaly Zone phone number for 24-hour UFO and Bigfoot slash cryptid sightings hotline number. All right. You guys hear me good? Yes. Put it on speaker. Get close to the mic. It is, sir. There we go. Not a very good hotline. <laughs> 24 hours, Hi, my ass. Gordon. Um, so we looked on the website. It said there's 24 hours, um, you know, that you'd be able to pick up the phone kind of thing because we just recently, recently witnessed a... Uh, Big, uh, Harry gay mail in the uh, forestry area, and I know we should call the park rangers Big because bear? of the size of his feet. Um, but uh, we thought we should, you know, give a reach out to you because you know you might know more about those areas. Um, well, we appreciate you. Fuck, man! God damn it! I wish that would have answered. <laughs> call me again. <laughs> They just had the resident of Stan Gordon, man. <laughs> yes. Fuck, man. How how awesome would that have been? It would have been <laughs> cool. Have you got? Well, have you guys? Well, actually, no. Let me. Let's let's. I don't want to get into that just yet. Just yet. We'll save that for a little bit. Well, yeah. let, guys, let's keep going with this alien Bigfoot shit. Okay. Yeah. So 
so they say that he's he's not of this world like he's he hails from another planet and they say that there are some bigfoot sightings that they say that like they see bigfoot and it looks like so, he what, you mean like he's out of this world he's so dreamy yeah he's okay. <laughs> he's so far out you know um no uh they said that uh the bigfoot sightings like they'll see him and then they'll go to like follow him and it'll look like he'll just like disintegrate like just disappear you know into like the wind like basically like Thanos snapped away like hmm. kind of deal or like hmm. uh they'll Looking see like him you, you fucking spilled some Nesquik got yeah. it yeah no. or you'll see him and then uh, a beam of light will come and then uh, he'll disappear and that attributes to the people's claims that uh He's extraterrestrial because it's like if his mother ship's yeah, coming to pick him up. That would be some shit. If we found like, a Sasquatch and we not like only confirm Sasquatch but extraterrestrials at the same time. Yeah, it'd be fucking extraterrestrial Sasquatches. <laughs> They're like a planet it'd of be Wookies, fucking Wookies. You know? Yeah, it'd yeah, be oh, Wookies. Yeah. It'd be Kashyyyk. I would be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dope. I would... I would go befriend one and ride on his shoulders like Yoda was doing. <laughs> <laughs> But, Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? You'd befriend one and be just taking bong hits with him, Casey. Oh, dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you know those bookies got good weed? Yeah, but they're crazy flammable. <laughs> yeah, oh, they are. I'm not. They fucking light themselves up like fucking Richard Pryor. Fuck, man. So, oh, shit. What What do y'all think about that? Like, one, so, what do you think the chances are that if if both exist, that they're one and the same? If I don't, I don't think Bigfoot is. Uh, well, I'm maybe he comes from another planet. I don't fucking know. Who the fuck knows? Maybe we come from another planet. Who really gives a shit? What I want to know is, you know how like they say that. Like you're like we talked about it a little bit earlier, like you guys are saying like his argument like uh where are the bodies of these Bigfoots? Where are they at? Where are they fleeing to? Where are they you know, uh where are their droppings at, where are their bones, you know, like where's the food that they're intaking? Like where's all this evidence? Well let me tell you fellas where this evidence is. Let me tell you What if what from if from Lucas's basement Yes. <laughs> what if the the mighty Bigfoot is like a werewolf and they only like come out like a person's like inflicted with oh, Bigfoot. Yeah, he and, only turns Italian he, under the moonlight. Yeah. And uh no, and he only comes out like during certain times of the year. Like maybe he comes out like once every seven years, but maybe you're a Bigfoot and you don't fucking know because you don't have that memory. And you're just out there doing Bigfoot shit for like a week, and then you come back to your normal life like nothing you're happened. Like, oh, people are the, like, "Oh yeah, that's where this like, guy goes." It's like, "Oh, like, Casey, are you okay? I just fucking, I just have this headache, and I just have this weird dream, like I was in a jerky commercial. <laughs> it's fucking weird." No, just but you see what I'm saying? Like, what if he's like, shit. what if he's like a, like a um, shapeshifter? You know. Like, Why the fuck would you shape into a either illy willingly or unwillingly? You know, like maybe that's like why there's not evidence of him because they can change its form to make himself look human. No, I'm just saying, like, what if he's a shapeshifter? And that's why we don't we don't see evidence of him. And if there are like a pack of them or whatever, maybe they are shapeshifting, and then maybe they do go into like these remote villages. You know, like do. You th think that Bigfoot's like extraterrestrial or do you think like he's like from uh, here? I think he, he's would definitely be from here. Um, after everything, whatever, I think it'd be more like plausible if it was somewhere where we can get to easily. But like, like the Yeti shit. Mm -hmm. I don't think Bigfoot in a forest is fucking accurate to me. That's yeah. I oh, don't know. I, I, I would hope that it'd be extraterrestrial just because, like, I would love to find one and check two boxes in one. Um, but, no, I think it's from this this planet. It'd be dope if it wasn't. It'd be a really fucking cool thing. You want to you hear some shit about some fucking Bigfoot, Joseph? 
You ever hear about him sodomizing these fucking cows? Well, that's some <laughs> big shoes. They say animal <laughs> on animal bestiality is not uncommon, but <laughs> uh, a few farmers have claimed to have witnessed uh, Bigfoot's fucking some of their cattle. <laughs> <laughs> Bison, American buffaloes, and antelopes. Did you imagine you your master be like, well, goddamn. <laughs> Call the police. Hello, 911? Yes, sir, what's your emergency? But I, I just don't know how to explain this, really. <laughs> uh, it looks like a monkey man's fucking my cow over here. Uh, my cow's a mooing. Have you told them to stop? <laughs> he just flipped me off and... Uh, he just took a bite of my goat's head. I don't. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You need to send some. You need to send some backup out here. I mean, <laughs> dude, how funny! Nobody's that? coming for me next. That how funny would that be? Is if that was like the first confirmed video to come out of? Oh my god! <laughs> he's like, he put just putting in work. It's, Tenderizing that beef for sure. You, you know that scene from fucking Super Troopers where he has the bear costume where he's fucking the bear? Just like that. <laughs> I'm, th I'm thinking more of like Clerks 2 where uh, Kinky Kelly's fucking oh. that donkey. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, that would be so funny. Just like confirm Bigfoot sighting. Pay $15 to see it. <laughs> Pay per view. <laughs> On the topic of sodomization, um, <laughs> they, uh, a researcher, uh, a cryptozoologist, Lauren Coleman, uh, stated that she thinks that about 10% of Sasquatches are gay. No wonder that you don't see many of them. Not great in babies. She said uh, she took, she has no, like, scientific background for this she's just like i could i could just tell <laughs> no she just assumed off of the human race like uh the population of us like the human race being gay she just did that in accordance to like a bigfoot population <laughs> and uh she got a bunch of backlash of course for that <laughs> People, people were so like, people were pissed that she was saying like Sasquatch was gay. Like they're like, my Sasquatch is not gay. Not my Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh man, fucking people are wild. The fact wow. that they get angry is just like, not our Sasquatch that we know almost nothing about. He ain't gay. <laughs> <laughs> they uh. So how could you tell? We just know, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that Sasquatch. Look at the way he walks. Look at them shoulders. <laughs> Hardly shrugging. <laughs> Gays they come. <laughs> well, Don't shit. talk about your son like that, Marty. <laughs> Joe, what do you think about this? What do you think about gay Sasquatch? What are your feelings about... uh? This I mean, regardless of homo species, sapien, you like, if you will. You like what you like. Homo sapien, homo sexual. I'm just playing. I mean, I don't know. Dogs hump other guy dogs. Humans. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, what they like. like it's not like some weird animals, fucking freakish behavior. Yeah, it's not a weird freakish behavior. You like what you like. If you're a conscious creature... If you are a, con a conscious creature, you're going to like what you like. It's not just about reproduction. It's about what you like. I, I'm, that's not saying it's okay to do weird shit like, you know, humans fuck animals and do shit like that. But I'm saying, I don't know. It's not weird to be attracted to the same sex. You go to a donkey Joseph? It's not weird to be attracted to the same sex. No, I will not go to I would not go, go to a donkey, donkey show. show. Let's go I'm to the donkey show. Fuck it. <laughs> but I'm saying it's not Kiki Kelly being a conscious creature. Head. It's no longer about reproducing. So it shouldn't be weird. It shouldn't be weird if you're sexually attracted to the same sex or whatever. 
for whatever your species is because, you know, we're smart enough to understand that we do shit for pleasure, not for reproductive purposes. Yeah. I'm completely. just saying, like, this so chick is can't... like, oh, most Sasquatches are gay. Yeah. Gay. No, that's hilarious because that's... Well, she only said 10% like, of like, them. Like, she didn't even say a lot of them were. It's only 10%. It's like, the Arrow, it's like the Arrowverse in CW. It's like, oh, it, the entire <laughs> population's gay except for, like, 1%. That's a little like weird. I understand representation. I just you, you don't have to dial it back. You just gotta just represent. I don't know. I mean, that's gonna sound wrong anyway. I say it. People are gonna get offended. <laughs> Try by to it. represent accurately. Yeah, accurately. But it's you know you shouldn't downplay homosexual people because it's like we have evolved past the point of reproduction. We're more for pleasure than reproducting. Yeah. So if you like the company of somebody your same sex or you don't feel like you identify I'm just going to say frogs are their original like, transgenders. The fact good. that sex toys exist means that we're long past just reproduction. Yeah, no, yeah and, and that's exactly It's like point. literally fucking a robot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be who you are and feel comfortable the way you are. Don't and there's nothing the wrong people... with that. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing wrong. What's, uh, Don't let people ident- like make you feel weird because you want to be who you are deep down. See, I did not go- think you were going to go super serious and deep with that. I thought you were going to make some jokes. No, I mean, I, I would have. I'm just, uh, my mind's just like spiraling out everywhere else. Oh, I've been you're distracted a lot. right now? Yeah. No, dude, but I mean, it is funny to watch a bunch of hairy dudes. Like, okay, <laughs> I mean, if you want to be real, a bunch of fucking eight foot fucking six foot seven foot eight foot like hairy men just fucking out and the her hairy primates just fucking out in the middle of nowhere i mean i'd be down to watch that a cow or two. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what that uh what's that all male fucking uh, what is that all male fucking uh charcoal uh soap called is that called sasquatch dr squatch Doctor Doctor Squatch, that is actually the scent of a bunch of Sasquatches, <laughs> male Sasquatches fucking at an orgy. That is the smell you're getting, and that That's is uh, like, and that, that is the smell of a Sasquatch with hockey going on. You put that you know on like all females because like this, and I was like, know. no, they don't. All Sasquatches like that, and you're getting, and I imagine that Sasquatches have dog dicks and little red lips <laughs> pop out, and then they come going for you. And then it's like, oh shit, no, scratch that. I imagine all Sasquatches have the little digs with like the red lipstick, but it's barbed like cats. So you oh get the God. best of both worlds, whether you like canines or felines, you're going to get fucking attacked in your asinine real quick. <laughs> you know what would be fucking hilarious? Uh, you know how Dr. Squatch uh, does like a lot of ads with YouTubers and stuff? What yeah. If, they... <laughs> if we. <laughs> He went to them. Come get your sure. gaping hole satisfied. Like if they, if we got enough viewers to, they're like, hey, you know, would you want to do an ad for us? We're like, yeah. Then <laughs> someone tips them off to this fucking podcast. That'd be helpful. To this funny. episode with like, you know, the smell of Doctor Squatch. That'd be hella funny. <laughs> oh fuck. The smell of Doctor Squatch is the smell of a, a, a gaggle of a Sasquatch having a. A bukkake. That's what, that's what uh, poor uh, fucking uh, the guy who got kidnapped for six days, he was just he was just <laughs> caught up in the middle of one of those just fucking just an onslaught. They of got all the holes. Sasquatch is fucking squatching all over this guy. Uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, poor guy. Uh, R.I.P. <laughs> dude. R.I.P. Albert Austin. <laughs> And with that, let's uh, take a short break. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Conspiracy Outpost. Like, subscribe, and follow us on all our social medias and podcasting networks. Give us a review. Give us a star rating. I don't care what it is. We just want to hear back from you. Bitch, it better be a five star. (laughs) Anyways, welcome back. What do you want to get into, Casey? Uh, Well, let's get into... uh, Give us some uh, pop culture shit, Mike. Okay, yeah. What uh, what what is Let's the see. pop culture this shit we got going Sasquatch on? or Bigfoot, Yeti, whatever you want to call it, has been in a lot of stuff actually. Um, just thinking off the top of my head, I can think of you know probably one of the most fam- famous movie having Sasquatch in it being you know Harry and the Hendersons with John Lithgow. 
which is a fucking classic, or at least, you know, to me, I feel it's a classic. Um, but other than that, like, I don't know how many fucking Bigfoot shows are on, like, uh, TV as far as, like, uh, in, in Search of Sasquatch or <laughs> fucking Finding Bigfoot, all the shit where they go out in the middle of the woods and do fucking weird-ass calls, you know? All the jokes that Matthew's been making about yeah. fucking jerky, about Jack Links, you know? Yeah, it's, like, it's it's everywhere. This is... This is a big cryptid. One, one. I think the Red biggest. Robin had a commercial, I believe. Yeah, this is. I think this is the one of the biggest cryptids there is. At least the biggest one we've covered so far. We haven't covered that many, but I think it's the biggest one on our list, right? Yeah, this is probably uh, one of the most, probably I mean, the you, most widespread, well-known cryptid. Yeah, at, at least here, at least here in uh, the United States. Um, I don't know about other countries. You guys could have other other cryptids. Um, or just other other myths that we have no idea about. But here here in the United States, Bigfoot's massive. Like there's sightings all over, um, and especially in the north, the north uh, west, the Pacific yeah. Northwest, and the fucking Northeast. Tons of them. There's but, a uh, beer called Bigfoot, isn't it? Oh, fucking Sierra Nevada. They have their oh, Bigfoot yeah, ale. Yeah. yeah, that's. I, I'm also actually not a big fan of that, the Bigfoot Ale. It's I don't good. remember what it tastes like. I remember, I just remember seeing the beer. It, like, it's it's a little too, like that and their cool. narwhal is it, like Bigfoot's their big one. It's a bar, it's a barley wine actually. It's really strong. Um, like I like the strength of it, but it's like it's a little too sweet for me. It's like a porter, and I'm not a big fan of those. I like stouts uh, and IPAs, something bitter tasting. I like I'm a that. Fucking psychopath. It's it's funny when you whenever you tell someone that you like an IPA, they always give you like a dirty ass look. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, oh yeah, you, you fucking hipster. Something creature. like that. And yeah. then like, and then this is always the question that comes after. You only drink IPAs because it's cool to drink IPAs. And then I was like, I was like, actually no, I was I was like, I actually hated IPAs when I first started. Drinking it it them. grows on you. The the but, way I s- actually but started drinking my buddy IPAs kept, is my buddy kept buying Sierra Nevadas. Yeah. And, uh, I just started drinking them all the time, and then I started liking them. And same thing with beer. I didn't like beer when I first tried it, you know? Yeah, I was, I was a hard alcohol guy at first. I mean, tonight I had a rum and coke, but I, I'm just now getting back into hard alcohol after drinking beer for a super long time. Um, but, like, yeah, when I was younger, the the way I got into drinking IPAs, this, I know this is off topic from Sasquatch, but... You know, no, it, it, who knows? Sasquatch might be out there making some fucking IPA big yeah. for fucking... <laughs> Bigfoot trail beer. Come yeah, but the way I got into IPAs is actually really funny. So living at my house, I I I drink Budweiser, which is what fucking people drink when they start drinking. You know, when they yeah, start drinking beer, it's fucking trash. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Budweiser. And what happened was like I'd buy Budweiser, and then my dad and uncle would drink it. And it's just like I come home and be like, "Where the fuck is my beer? What the fuck?" And so I started buying uh sierra nevada pale ale because they didn't like it but i could tolerate it and that was it i just tolerated it and then you know i would drink that and i was like you know what this is pretty fucking good and then i went back to try to drink budweiser i was like eh that's not as good anymore and i just really like pale ale and i just kind of just kept going farther and farther and now i fucking drink like fucking you know like nine percent triple ipas and shit like that i drink a lot of stouts but fog hatter is my favorite I really like the... I think it's Bog Hatter. Oh. I think that's what it's called. The Skeleton on the Motorcycle. It's yeah, like a triple know. IPA. The There's a triple IPA from Knee Deep. Uh, I think it's like 12% too. Knee Deep Brewing. That's It's like Hop Trio or something like that. It's really good. There's oh, Pliny, the, uh, Pliny the Elder, which is a triple, which is really fucking good. Um, and then fucking... There's the fucking triple IPA from Sierra Nevada... Their purple can that's like nine percent, and I fucking love that one. My favorite yeah. can about some... it is uh, torpedoes. Oh, I like torpedoes a lot. The double. Yeah, those. Well, I didn't. I didn't know they had a triple. I think. I think when I was drinking them, because I would always do like their like. The triple's new. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. yeah no, I haven't had a Sierra can, Nevada in a while. It's yeah. they're they're not like you know. They're, they're hard to are. find. When I went up there, it's like they were a bit overpriced. Here, yeah. I mean. I'm, so like I'm 10 right, bucks. I think it's I'm 10 right bucks next to the Chico. Pack, That's right? where the fucking like, brewery's at. Guys, I'm so about to like, get off. It's getting super late. Yeah. 
Well, take no. it easy, Joe. All right. We're, we're pretty much almost done, as you can we're tell. Ju we're just talking about uh, some pop culture stuff. And beer, really. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think he's... Yeah, okay, I think he got off. Of, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, as, as far as Sierra Nevada goes, because I, I do drink a lot of Sierra Nevada, they have their Bigfoot barley wine. I'm just not a big big fan of it. It's a little too sweet, a little too molasses-y. I don't remember. I remember I've had it before. I just don't remember what it tastes like. Yeah. I remember the label. It's like wooded. Yeah, it has a dope like ass an label. An outline of Sasquatch, I think, or yeah, then, has some show then, in them. I don't remember. And then their sweatshirts of the, the Bigfoot ale is pr pretty fucking cool, too. <laughs> but yeah, um, as far as far as that goes, with there's all the fucking live TV shows for Hunting for Sasquatch, which I touched on earlier. Which like I've watched and it, it's pretty interesting. But like the ones where they're they're hunting for Sasquatch like all the time, I don't really like that much because it's like okay, yeah, if this would have been like a couple episodes or just like a special, it would have seemed legit. But you guys are out here just essentially making a fool of the concept of it, in my opinion. You guys are just trying to get... It, it seems like a money grab, and you guys are just being idiots. Um, I don't know. That's what I think about that. Like, the research societies that there are, I think they're pretty cool because they're, like, actually looking into shit. I think the non... I think the privately... Like, if you're self-funded and doing research, you have 100% credibility in my book. But if you're, like... If you have a major TV network and you're out there, you know, like, oh, yeah. Did you guys hear that noise in the background? And yeah. then you just got. It's, it's like the fucking ghost adventure shit, too. Yeah, you know? it's, like, it's the same way. It's, it's like I I believe in the supernatural, but I don't believe that the ghost adventure people do what they say they're. Yeah, actually. they I think they're. it's literally just a. Uh, it's for entertainment, which you can't. I'm not mad at them for doing it. You know, that's you know, that's their yeah. job. You know, and that's, that's, that's how I feel about the Bigfoot hunting shows, um, the multiple ones that there are. Now, like I've seen multiple like National Geographic things about it, um, with like eyewitness accounts, which I had heard those two recordings in 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 a National Geographic or Discovery, whatever the fuck it is. I've heard those two recordings of the 911 calls in there and i think those are pretty awesome when they're isolated specials and they have you know eyewitness accounts and not just like going out there and be like well we're gonna yell into the woods all night and like you go oh what the fuck was that see what the fuck echo <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh, you no. know i i think it makes a mockery of it and i, I don't like that because it's i i believe that it's out there and for as someone who believes that it it's out there. It's like, dude, don't make a mockery of it even more than it already is. You yeah, know, you're but, just discrediting people that might actually have something. And that's that's a problem, especially you know in the in the stuff, especially stuff, a lot of yeah. the stuff that we talk about because there's so much disinformation out there and so much information out there, and then there's people who want yeah, to has the same benefit. shit with like the aliens and everything too. Yeah, it's just people who want to benefit off the backs of those. So then when people do tell the truth, it just sounds far-fetched and it just sounds like everyone's trying to get a money grab. That's why, like, like when people have, like, claims of stuff and they had, they don't write a book about it, they don't have a TV special about it. Yeah. And, then, you know, fucking 30 years later, some network just finds out that it was them and they're like, oh, will you come talk about this? And then they talk about it, like, 30 years later. Those people are credible in my book because they weren't out trying to get fucking popular about it like it found them they didn't go out there finding it you know they're not out there like oh yeah i found like i seen bigfoot two weeks later i have a book on the shelves fucking number yeah. one seller you know like shut the fuck up like <laughs> people don't people don't i don't know people might do that i don't know i don't feel like people like normal people do that though how know? the fuck do you write an entire book on one encounter though that's like you're really milking that shit. Wow. Yeah, dude, I don't even know. Like, I could see you writing a book as a journalist, talking to multiple multiple people who have had encounters. That, like, I would read, but some person's just milking one encounter. Like, unless they were just like, I was taken by the Sasquatch, I got the hair right here, they tested the DNA, it is something they've never seen before, and it fucked me in the ass. I'd read that book. <laughs> <laughs> mostly, mostly because the last chapter, uh, where it climaxes, but... <laughs> No, but I think with that, I, I think we've reached the end of the podcast.
about one in ten adults believe that Bigfoot is real. Whether you believe that or not, you can't deny the fact that Bigfoot has been a major pop culture icon. I personally believe that Fuzzy Bastard is out there evading <laughs> human detection by means of stealth or with the use of supernatural powers. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you're listening to this on Spotify, swipe up and answer our polls. 